Hello everybody. Okay, so the other day I received these like Egyptian soap molds. Um, there's, there's a few different ones here. Actually, I guess maybe that'd be upside down for you now, huh? Um, like this and then this one. And so what I thought about doing is originally I was going to paint them all with um, mica powders. But then I accidentally, when I was doing the other project, I accidentally got one of those little foil gold leaf things in there. So that made me decide that I actually, I think I'm going to try to do um, a couple of those with the gold leaf and see how that looks. Actually, let me pour just a bit. Let's see, how do I want to do this? No, you put the gold leaf in first, right? So I don't, I use gold leaf a lot, but I don't really use it for like lining stuff. But I see a lot of people doing that. So I'm going to try it. My new resin I'm using is already getting hot. It's not lasting very long. So let's see, I'm just going to squish this down in here really kind of quickly. I do not want that to flash cure on me. My other resin I use has a really kind of a long working time. This one really does not so much. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for this one here. Okay, so I know I've made a mess, but now I would wanna use some black, right? Actually, do you think I should just add it with this so I don't waste these little beads? It might kinda of act as a filler too, huh? I don't know, probably wouldn't hurt, let's see. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, this resin's hot. Gosh, it wasn't even sitting out that long. Okay, I'm mixing up my black. Wait, no, not for all of it. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Okay, just this one. Wow, that is hot. I'm gonna have to do something else for the rest of those, because this is way too hot. It's not thick, just hot. Why is this? I guess I'm not planning very well lately. I feel like the last couple videos I've done, maybe I'm talking too much, huh? Okay. All right. So I'm going to take this black. I'm going to put a place to put that dirty stick. And this one, after I spray alcohol in there. Okay. That is black, black, opaque. It's going to go in here. And we're just going to hope for the best. I'm going to pour slow so I get into those little nooks and crannies and hope that I don't get a bunch of air bubbles in there. I'm not going to go all the way to the top of this one. This is the deepest one and I still want it to fit into my coaster. Well, shoot, I might be going to the t kind of to the top of this one, I guess. Okay. I'm going to kind of plop it down. All right, I'm going to set that one aside because I've got more work to do here. Okay, hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to pour because uh, I need gold. I need something gold. Quick. Quick, Barb, quick. What do I got? My cup, the side of my cup is starting to melt. It's starting to warp. I can smell burnt plastic. Okay, I need to do something else here. Hang on. Bear with me, everybody. Oh, yeah. Wow, that got hot fast. Okay, I need to remember that this kind of resin, whew, that is hot. Hot, hot, hot. I'm probably going to be smoking in here now. I'm going to just dump it in here because for now, oh my gosh. Yeah, I waited too long. Okay. 
Yeah, my cup is melting. And this is splash curing. Oh, gosh. Yep, too late, guys. I think. Wow. Okay, I have to remember that Envirotex Light has a very short working time. It's been, gosh, probably, I don't know, two or three years since I've used it. I just don't remember it being this this um, quick of a work time on it. This is not going to look right. <laughs> I kind of wasn't sure what to do with this because it was so hot. Okay. Do you see what it's done to my cup? Do you see how it's warped? So my, my other resin that I use, my Naked Fusion Artist Resin, the Diamond Clarity, I can, use, I can gosh, it can sit out here for 20, 30 minutes before it starts getting warm. This was sitting for maybe, I don't know, it feels like maybe only like maybe seven, eight minutes. So yeah, that was not what I wanted to happen. Okay, well, I guess that, I wonder if I can put a little bit of a back, <laughs> no, I've got this, this isn't, I don't want this to be, to be all see-through, I'm not sure if this is going to work. The baby wipe over here. All right, gosh, when it says do not wait to pour, they are not joking. Do you see this? It's already gelled, it's already hard. Is that quick? That quick. Even though sometimes you can, if you have a really hot cup like that, especially when you're not using silicone or, you know, something, and it starts to get super hot, a lot of times you can pour it into another cup really quickly, and if that cup is cool enough, it will not stop it from flash curing, but it will help it to um, not usually do it quite so quickly. But, uh, okay, so anybody who's thinking about using Envirotex Lite, or, you know, if you haven't before, this is a good reminder. It's one thing, you can usually, watching my videos, you can learn some kind of a lesson, and yeah. Okay, so... There is that. I'm gonna spray this again real quick. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I actually had fun doing this. So I might add some more. I might let's see. I might I think I might do these these two. I think I might try this. I don't know, is this crazy? I don't know, you guys probably all have your own thoughts of what this should all look like with that stick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the gold leaf foil in these two, and I'm not. I'm going to just turn you off, and I'll bring you back in a little bit because you don't need to sit and probably watch me do this all over again. So I'll be back when I get this part done. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So I went ahead and I did this kind of did that gold foil to these last two that one's going to be kind of a disaster that's the one i kind of panic poured all the this whatever i had in that in that cup over there that had the the little golden seed beads in it um so and that's okay it's um i just was trying to hurry up and empty out that cup but um but yeah that is going to be interesting probably but the rest of these, I'm hopeful. Um, I went ahead and poured some black that I had left over from that original cup into this one. And then I made up just a little bit more enough, I think, to fill this one here. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. This one's just freshly made, not hot at all. So, but I'm gonna pour it quickly. This resin is really thin. It's a lot thinner than the other that I use is pretty thick. So when you're pouring the thinner resin, it actually does a great job if you don't wait too long. You know, if you don't wait for it to get hot, then it really gets thick fast. But when it's just really cool, freshly stirred, um, mixed well, but then, you know, done, 
it, when you're pouring it, it does a great job, is what I'm trying to say, of getting into the small crevices and cracks. Okay, all that just to say that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it does a great job. But you just got to remember that all these resins are not created equally. They have different thicknesses, different working times, and gosh, you really got to pay attention to that. And I do read my sheet. Even resin like this that I've used before, I just had read it, and um, and it said, right after mixing, pour immediately, do not wait. Well, they were right. And this little mold was a little fuller than what I thought it was. That's another thing about the thinner resin. Okay, when you're used to working with a thicker resin, it is definitely going to run over the sides much quicker than thicker resin. So, yeah. Um, pros and cons to both, but, yeah. I usually anymore, if I can't, if I don't use my Naked Fusion, I will go to my second choice, which is a Better Boat. I do like that resin really well. It doesn't have a very long working time either, but it's a lot longer than this, I'll tell you what. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go put these in the uh, curing machine after I spray the bubbles again real quick. And, um, and then I will be back and we'll demold these and then we'll figure out if we have enough room to go ahead and turn it into a coaster. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, these are all cured. I put them in my curing machine real quick just to um, kind of help them along. It only took about maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour and they are completely cured. So I'm going to start with this one. This is the one that we kind of hurried up and shoved the seed beads in because, if, whoops, I just flinged one. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting much out of this, but that's okay. Let's see what happened with it anyway. Yeah. Okay. So here's this one. I can see that it could have been really, I mean, it's kind of cool looking, I guess. It's not terrible. All the seed beads did kind of sink into the, into this little, um, shoot, I forget what you call this guy. Yeah. So anyway, here's this one. It's kind of okay. Okay. I'm going to lay them here on this plastic. Okay, and then these, oops, I'm having some hot tea here before I go to bed tonight, but these are all kind of like stair-stepped down in height. So, and I think this one was a little higher than this one, but um, yeah, can you see they're just a bit difference in height. So they, they may not turn out to be coasters, they might be too fat, but we'll see. Okay, we'll just do this one. I'm not sure which one this is, but I do know it was one that we um, brushed with the gold. So that's kind of exciting. I'm anxious to see how it turned out. Hopefully it, the black wasn't too much, I hope. Okay, I'll turn those off later. Okay, here we go. Okay. I think this is like the like maybe the pharaoh or king tut looking one it actually looks it's not what i expected but it looks really kind of antique looking can you see what do you think about that so i don't know i mean if i wouldn't have put black behind it and if i would have done gold or yeah i'm not sure but anyway so it's kind of cool looking. Now this one's definitely thin enough to go into a coaster. And so is this one. And actually I was just think, I was just kind of chalking this one up to just, you know, I'd have to just toss it probably, but but I think it'd be okay. It'd be usable. And then here's this one. Okay. Oh, that's actually really kind of cool looking. 
what do you guys think? That actually, to, I guess really, to be honest, it actually does look kind of cool. Now, it's kind of funny to me because I know that I, I stuffed her face all full of that gold foil. Kind of like I did with this one here. But somehow, it kind of just stayed on the hat. And it didn't really do her face. So I actually kind of like it better this way. Now, I'm not sure what the, how this one turned out. Biggest one. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, this is this one. All right, let's see. I need to cut that off. Okay, wow. Look at that. That's actually really, really kind of cool. So I'm pretty sure that this is the one that has, that I took those big chunks of gold leaf. And I think this, this here, this might have been the first one that I did with the gold leaf. And I was using like the little chunks and um, kind of breaking them apart. And this is the one I did and I didn't break them apart. I just put the big gold leaves in there. I don't know. This is kind of cool looking. It actually is kind of cool looking. Definitely makes them look old and antique -y looking. So, yeah. Hmm. All right, one thing I am going to do, this is the this is cured, but it's still really soft, so I'm going to come in here and trim this real quick. Why it's nice and easy to do. There we go. I'm going to spray my scissors with alcohol real quick. All right. All right. So here they are. And I'm going to let them sit overnight so they can kind of finish firming up a bit. All right, you guys. Let me bring you in for a closer look. And then I will see you tomorrow when I can figure out next step. See you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've made up some resin and I went through and just touched up this one that we had to kind of do in a rush. I went through and just kind of touched it up, did a gold border, um, kind of outlined the um, staff or whatever that is there in gold and a little bit of his ears just to make him not quite so translucent. And I just kind of did the same on this one. Those two we are going to make into paperweights using these two things here and these two I'm going to turn into coasters okay these deep ones are going to be in a non-rimmed kind of a deeper coaster so what I'm going to do first is make sure I clean all these out these are going to be not facing downwards I'm going to work from the bottom facing up on these and I decided for my background is going to be black on my um i think on everything really so i gotta keep a close eye on my on my resin today i'm using envirotex light so i'm gonna go ahead and get my black india ink that i'm gonna be using start that get it all stirred up here And there doesn't need to be very much in here because um, it's just for the base. And then we will do a clear top. I'm going to go ahead and just pour. I'm only doing two of these. And in here.
Okay, it's enough to cover cover it. Do some alcohol. And then I'll let these cure a minute. And bring in my other two. Okay, and I'm going to do the I'm going to work the same way. Work from the bottoms up on these. And I did dust these out already, but I need to clean the whole thing. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and pour these two. Okay, let's see, I might pink do it. Go ahead and do it. I'm going to do a third base there. Even though I don't really have anything in mind for this for this one yet, but I think I can probably come up with something. Okay, now I've got just a little tiny bit of this black left and I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm working on another project so just really quickly I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this little black for this tiny little bit and I'll be back when I get this done okay everybody so our resin here is not cured but definitely um, if you stick I don't know if you can see but if I stick my stick in there it kind of leaves a hole, kind of slowly fills back over, but it's ready to go ahead and do our next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my, um, I'm going to take this one and this one. And actually, you know, even though this one was kind of a panic make, um, these were kind of more intentional with the gold foil. but. I actually kind of like the way this turned out. So I'm actually thinking, I mean, maybe I would have more black on the back, but I think I'm gonna try these again and actually do this again, but on purpose. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and place these down here in the bottom. They're gonna face up and they just kind of fit just right in these rounded edged um, soap molds, okay? So I'm gonna put this one in there and this one in there and there's not enough resin in there for them to sink, okay? But there's enough in there to give it a good backing and allow us to go and do a clear domed um, topping, okay? So there's not much to do with those, really. Just kind of let them sit there and then these are a bit deeper, I think. And let's see, I made up three just because I had extra resin. I don't want these to sink. Let me double check that these are kind of in the same place. Oh, these are kind of, you know, this one's not quite ready. I don't think, I really don't want it to sink and then cover up all of our antique area here. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more time, uh, these, and then I'll come back and we'll place these, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I waited about, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes to come in and place these into this. I feel like it's ready now. It's definitely sticky, sticky firm and not sticky, still soft and gooey. So let's see, I'm going to place them in this way and just try to find the center. So I might do some stuff around it. There we go. This one, do the other one in here. Okay, there we go. So now we just got to decide if we want to put something in here with it or not. Um, gosh, I have a couple little lint pieces in there. I just hate that. It shows up really a lot on the black. All right, I'm going to think about it and decide if I want to come in and do like something around the rim. Uh, I'll give that some thought, okay, while this is curing. All right, I will be back in a bit. See you then. Hey everybody, I'm back and what I decided I'm going to do, I mixed up about four ounces of resin. I'm going to pour just a little bit around just our little black areas here. Just a little bit because I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, crushed like abalone shell and go around the outsides, I think. I think I would like that better than just having it be plain. Okay, so um, I'm going to just pour a little bit 
around the black just enough to kind of get these to set up. Get that going. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and pour just a tiny bit of resin across the faces and some of these tiny areas on our um, on our original pieces because there's some little areas and I really don't want any bubbles getting trapped in there when we go to cover it all the way. So just like with your flowers or something or a 3D sticker, you want to go ahead and coat this kind of a thing before you just start covering it up. At least that's what I do to help prevent bubbles. Here we go. All right. I'm going to give it a quick spray. And then I'm going to pour out some of these little shells to see about placing them. This bag of shells came from Pier 1 here in the United States before they closed. So I don't know if they still sell these online or not on their online store, but I'm sure Craft Store or probably Amazon would have this kind of a thing. But they've got um, a little bit of shimmer to them on one side, you know, like an oyster shell kind of a thing. So I'm going to take these pieces and just kind of start filling them in around around our guys here. That one's kind of shaped funny. I take the ones that are kind of shaped. This one's got, you know, might be a little too tall. I really want the flat, the flat sided ones. Let's see, way over here. There we go. Okay, I think that's all we're going to do on this one. And now we're going to start on this one over here. There we go. How do they look? I think these are going to be really kind of really cool looking. Okay, so I'm going to set these aside. That resin's getting pretty hot. So, okay, I'm going to scoop my shells over. And then I was thinking these little paperweights we were doing here, these might actually end up being, I thought they might actually be kind of more fun as like keychain or something. So I'm just going to Go ahead and, sp and pour these. Just enough to cover them. I'm pouring slowly over their faces and things for the same reason. I don't want to trap any bubbles in there. Must have the pointiest nose. Everything else is covered, but then his nose keeps sticking out of there. So. Okay, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it'll be too thick for a keychain, but we'll see.
Okay, so I'm going to just kind of watch all this for bubbles and um, when these are done, then they're done. When I'm going to mix up some more resin here in a couple minutes and then um, there's nothing stopping us from going ahead and pouring these as well. So, okay, this is going to be fun. I'm thinking too with these that when they're done, um, I'll probably go in, in and trim the edges with gold. Here, let me bring, see if I can bring this up closer so you can see. Turn it this way. Can you see? I think that's looking pretty cool in there. Okay, so I'm going to set these over on the curing mm -hmm. rack, hopefully without them spilling all over. One more spray before I take them. So when I just stood up to go move those other things, I could see that these really aren't looking very equal. So I might just see if I can fill in a couple spots over here. Okay, so I've mixed up some more resin, probably more than enough. But I'm going to go ahead and start pouring this. I see I've got a little bit of black spots over here on the edge. I'm going to see if I can get that off real quick so that it doesn't show up through our clear. And spray that again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start pouring these. Let's see, I've got six ounces. So I can do a couple of ounces in each one. Got just a smidge of his face sticking out of there, so I might have to come in and um, add a little extra after this one's completely covered. I feel like that one should have been completely covered, but let me see if I've got any extra room. I do not. Hmm. There's not very much sticking out, just a smidge of his chin here. Okay. Well, um, that's it for right now. We're going to let this cure. Okay, you guys. So I decided to go ahead and finish this little one, too. I had just a little bit of resin left. I think I'm just going to do like a white. I'm going to try to just do like a white flower petal. I'm going to add a couple drops of um, Cast and Craft to this. It's not very much, but we shouldn't need very much for this. There we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stir it too, too much. And then I have to put a bit more of this in here. I feel like it needs a little bit more. It's not quite covered. Okay, so I'm not gonna have a piping bag or anything to do a color. Let me make a small flower shape. Okay. Pinch this really tight, and then this is going to be our center, but it's going to go on top. Okay, so I'm going to do this first. My flower is kind of getting away from me. Okay. There. I'm going to have to probably <laughs> clean it up a bit. Starting with this. Okay, so we will come in on this direction. And we might just kind of leave it at that, actually. Mm 
I'm going to use my heat gun just really quickly over this. I don't want to use it too much because it'll start kind of messing with your flower petals. So we don't have a whole lot of resin in this, so but you can see they're already starting to kind of like spread out there. Okay, I decided to bring you guys down here for a closer look. And as you can see, those actually turned out, they're turning out pretty kind of cool looking, our Egyptian theme. This one is completely covered in the resin, as you can see there. So this one can be a coaster or I'm thinking they might actually end up being, especially this one, see how I've got part of his, I don't know if you can see, but part of his little, just his chin is sticking out there. So I could have made the, um, the little bar thing, the little rectangle bar there. I could have made that, um, oh gosh, maybe an eighth of an inch more shallow when I did that mold and that probably would have been just about enough to have covered his face. And also the black that I did on the bottom um, evidently was a little too thick. I think that was only maybe an eighth of an inch or so, but um, maybe it should have been a sixteenth of an inch. You know, anyway, I think there's things, ways I could have cut corners so that I could have had that completely submerged. And when I try this the next time, I will make those changes. And But this one, there's no problems with that. It's looking pretty good. And then... Here's our flower, <laughs> um, just kind of our last minute flower, and it's got that black background, but it's definitely doing its thing, and the effect is really kind of happening there, so that's super pretty, and I'm excited to see how this is all going to turn out tomorrow, so um, I will see you guys all in the morning when this is all completely cured. Thanks everyone, I'll see you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Everything's completely cured and ready to demold. And I'm so excited about all of the projects that we have. Um, first thing I wanna do though, really quickly, is show you what happened with our flash cure. This was in that cup and I just popped it off of the cup and just decided to keep it as kind of a reminder of um, pouring quickly when I'm using that type of resin. So yeah. Here it is. Here is my keepsake from this particular flash cure. Certainly not my first, but probably won't be my last. But uh, anyway, yeah. So with that being said, let's take these out of the mold. These are supposed to be our paperweights. Okay, but I like this mold because we had, um, we had our original mold that had the really sharp pointy edges and now we have nice soft rounded edges um, so whatever we do with it is going to be a nice, I'm not going to have to sand corners. So here's this one. What do you guys think about that? I think it looks really, really actually kind of cool. It reminds me of something that you would maybe buy in a museum, you know, um, maybe as a, maybe, I don't know, might be kind of big for a magnet, but you definitely could do a paperweight or if that's too big for a keychain. Hmm. The size isn't too big. It might be a tad bit thick for a keychain. But anyway, yeah, I'm not sure. I think right now I'm just going to keep it maybe as a paperweight, but we will kind of think about that a little bit more. I like how the sides are translucent and you can kind of see in there. Kind of gives it kind of a really a 3D effect. And yeah, that looks really cool. Then here is the one that was the product of that flash cure. And I just had to kind of hurry and dump those little, um, those little gold seed beads out um, into something. And this is the product of that. And as weird as it turned out to be, I actually like it a lot better than what I thought. So here's this one. What do you think about this one? You can see the little seed beads down. They kind of sunk down into the um, the portion that was that was dropped down in that mold. It looks like maybe there's some little bubbles in there too. I see now um, up against the black up in here, but that would have been the product also of the resin being so hot 
that he weren't able to escape. But, um, you know, I'm kind of glad that I saved the project as far as um, going ahead and just dumping it all in this because it actually turned out kind of cool. I actually really like it. And I'm glad that we did the gold, went around and did a gold edge on both of these. Okay. And so when this is done, I'm probably going to do the same. Um, hmm. You know, actually, I might even do my gold edge and then put a top coat. Ooh, now I'm thinking. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to get back to those. So here is our coasters or our art piece and this little flower that we just kind of did real quick with our little bit of extra resin that we had. Um, I'll just take this out real quick. This is not very thick and we could come in and do a top coat on it and it's, you know, it kind of spread out a bit more than I would have thought. I did come in and I just put a tiny bit of glass glitter um, from Recollections in the center. I decided that this gold piece I was going to use was probably a bit big for this. So I just did a little here and if I do a top coat I'll probably add a bit more of the of the uh, silver in the middle. But there's that. That's just kind of a little extra. But I'll put another top coat on that. A little, little coaster. Okay, so there's that. And then here are these. Now this one, this one, look at this one. So we poured, this is how much black we poured originally for the base. Okay, you can see our other mold down inside of there. This turned out really pretty. Again, like something you might pick up in a museum after seeing an exhibit. Um, there's literally hardly any bubbles in there that I see. Maybe just a couple teeny tiny ones attached to the side, but I don't even, you can't even hardly even see it. But the problem with this one is <clears throat> it, even though this was shallow, we still have his little bit of his face sticking out there. So, um, yeah, on the mold, I would definitely have to make this gold piece here a bit more shallow, like maybe cover the top of this rectangle section and then shut it off. And I think I went, you know, just a bit deeper than that. But other than that, this is gonna probably stand up on one of my little display stands. Um, I just buy them in bulk on, on uh, eBay here. I mean, I don't know, actually eBay or Amazon, I forget. But I get these and then um, if, if something like this happens and you can't use it for a coaster, it makes a really pretty just little decoration to stand up. But do you see how the shells did? They're really pretty. The shine in them just really came through. That's one thing about this resin, even though it we did get a flash cure on this, gosh, it just does an amazing job with curing really clear. It's a thin resin, so it does a little bit better than my Naked Fusion that I use, which is a thicker resin. But, um, so here's this one. Now this one, here's the black that we did for the initial layer, and you can see our piece in there. And then this one is completely covered. It really turned out almost really just perfectly, really. I wasn't sure about adding these shells, but now I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. I feel like these just really turned out really beautifully. Yeah, gosh. Okay, so um, gold, do I wanna do the gold rim on these? I definitely might come in and do a dome top on these, but you know, I. If I did that, I could cover up a bit of his face, but I don't think I'm going to get, I don't think I can dome it enough to get his whole face in there anyway. So I don't know. I might just leave these and do a rim around these and then do a top coat. Um, yeah, but I'm really happy with the way all of these turned out. They just are amazing. And probably what I'll do is I will do the gold the gold around the outside and top coat these and then I'll just put a picture in my community tab of some of my updated things like this okay but I hope you guys enjoyed doing this with me and I think they've really just turned out 
beautifully, honestly. They're, I'm just still just kind of amazed by them. They're, they're just more than what I expected. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you all next time.